then we'll move into um, reports. Number five, A, recognition of staff and students. Mr. Mead. Good evening. Tonight, the high school administration would like to recognize Nathan Hartling, Derek Mosier, Travis Blinkwick, and Eric Cronenbohl, who were selected to Wisconsin High School Golf Association as academic all-state honorees this past mm -hmm. golf season. In order to be nominated, they, they had to have a grade point average of at least 3.5 participate in 75% of their team's varsity matches and be at least a sophomore. So we'd like to recognize them tonight. Also, when um, Jeff Adams was a teacher in high school at the doctor's office for one of his uh, children, he happened to pick up this magazine, which is Greater Area uh, Lacrosse Sports Connection. And as he was paging through it, and I have a copy of for everyone here on page five, it says, football player and homecoming team teaches entire school about respect. And it's a story on Ryan Barta and being crowned homecoming king uh, this past year. And um, the Bardas and I were supposed, we're on our way up to Stevens Point last Thursday for the state Special Olympics uh, track and field meet. And unfortunately, because of weather, they postponed the opening ceremony, but there's a DVD coming that uh, showcases Ryan. And they were gonna show that at their opening ceremonies, but uh, they were postponed so they didn't see it, but Christina Harris, who wrote this article, is going to send me a copy of the DVD, and once we get it, we'll share it with the board. Thank you. Thank you very much. And congratulations to those students that you just recognized. I had read the article already on Ryan. It's a very nice article. Very nice. And on behalf of the entire board at our last regular board meeting, we would like to publicly tonight thank Bob Fassbender for his 26 years of service to the Tacoma Area School District. It's been said that excellence is when a man or woman asks more of himself than others do, and Bob has always done that for the 26 years I've known him. He's led by example with his words, his actions, his attitudes, always putting our district first. He's been the face of the Tome Area School District for more than just his years as district administrator. And he's been a face that everyone has recognized, stands for integrity. It's always important that when a person is talking, a lot of us use I a lot. In all the years I've known Bob, I don't think I've heard you use the word I very frequently. Rather, it's always we. Bob's always understood the idea of being a part of a team, and yet he's always accepted the ultimate responsibility, and he's never sidestepped it. But when it's time to give credit for something that's been well done, you'll never hear, hear him say I. It's always we. It's been said that a good leader um, expects or inspires confidence in himself or herself, but a great leader inspires people to have <coughs> confidence in themselves. And that's the kind of leader that Bob has always been in every capacity that I've ever known him at, as a teacher, as an administrator, as a board member. You in make people better by having the ability to work with you. Um, a leader has the courage to fulfill his own vision, and that comes from passion. And the Tome Area School District has always been Bob's passion, behind his family, and right up there with his Harley, and probably his golf game <laughs> as well. John Dewey said, one of the saddest things about education in America is that the wisdom of our most successful leaders is lost to the profession when they retire. And in many ways, we are losing that with Bob, but we also know that your wisdom, your expertise will continue to shape this community and will continue to shape the lives of kids. You have left an endeavor. We've talked a lot about filling your footsteps and filling your footprints. Your footprint on this district is indelible, and it has impacted thousands and thousands and thousands of left the Tome Area School District a far better place than it was 26 years ago. Thank you on behalf of not only the board, but every kid who's come through this system. Thank you very much. Um, it's been a wonderful 26 years, like you said. <laughs> my kids 
went through the school system. Now I'm going to get all teary eyed. I'm having <laughs> problems. And, That's okay. and I've gotten to the point that doesn't bother me as much anymore. I guess if you're passionate about something, I guess it's okay to shed a few tears. And like I said, our, our intent is to live around Toma. I still I hope to still be active in Toma. Um, still be there if Cindy needs any help, you know, any guidance. You know, Greg needs any any whatever little wisdom I have left. You know, <laughs> if I can help him, I do plan to be around. And I've had a wonderful career here. I've always said if I could have shaped my career, I would have loved to have been an elementary principal for maybe five years, ten years, or something. And you know, I was very fortunate that when Tony became superintendent. Then a year and a half later, then you know, I became the business manager, and it's been a good fit for me. I, I just like I said, I, I think if you're going to be involved, if you're an administrator, you need to be involved in the community. And I think that's one thing I feel very comfortable about is you know, my involvement in a lot of the community events, and I think that's whether it's my vision or my my face that I left on the district or the footprints or whatever. I think that's all part of it. support you've shown me over the years. Thank you. It's um, probably only you and your family know how many hours it takes to be an exceptional superintendent. There's a lot of meetings and you're, you're um, hopefully going to be entering a time now when you can be with your family and do things that you want to do. And so we, we applaud you for all of your work and thank you and wish you happy retirement. Thank you very much. Does anybody else want to share anything? <laughs> All right. Any other recognitions tonight? I do have a letter that was attached to your agenda. It was addressed to me, which all I was the receiver. It came from Rick Radcliffe, and it says, Dear Mr. Fassbender, I'm writing this letter as part of a parent of two children in the Toma School District. This past April 2010, I had the opportunity to accompany the sixth grade middle school class as a parent chaperone to the Eagle Bluff Environmental Learning Center. I want to take this opportunity to share my personal thoughts on this very rewarding experience. First, this was an outstanding educational experience for the students who participated. The classes were unique and the outdoor setting provided by provided a learning atmosphere that would, would be difficult to duplicate in the classroom. The programs presented concentrate the programs presented concentrated on improving student awareness of nature and environmental concerns, both local and global. I was impressed with the pro, with the program and the facilities at Eagle Bluff. Second, the students that participated were extremely well behaved for sixth graders, and as a result, they were able to really benefit from the experience. I think this is primarily a function of the preparation of the faculty involved. I am sure there are many teachers and staff who spent countless hours organizing and coordinating this field trip. I can only speak from my observations, and from this, Mr. Todd Kirschbaum deserves special recognition for his efforts in this regard. Finally, I hope the Thomas School District will continue to offer the Eagle Bluff experience to its students. Please feel free to share this letter with the Thomas School Board if you so choose. Thank you. Very your, truly yours, Rick A. Radcliffe. So, that's their very nice that we've got Steve here, who was part of the middle school. And it is a wonderful program. Who, yeah. who, you know, took the time to write a nice letter to support the program. It is a wonderful opportunity because the teachers then tie it into not only science, but they come back and they write um, stories about their um, their time at Eagle Bluff and um, they put it into social studies in all the areas. All four of our kids went through it with my, my husband went with them and they just really enjoyed the experience. So thank you to all the, the teachers that do that, especially Todd Kirschbaum does usually lead the uh, whole event. So thank you. Okay, if um, there are no other recognitions,